Right, how's it going guys? My name is Coach Chow. Now, today we've got another one of our fact files because today we're going to be venturing deep into the wild to look for the cobra. Yes, they're a very dangerous animal and yes, I may need to take extra care with them, but they're endangered, they're wild and we're going to discover them right here on this channel. It's a very specific type of cobra that weaves in and out with very, very sharp turns and steep drops. It's a very rare, rare one. Wear one? Rare one. I can't wear one. It's animal cruelty. It's a rare one you can find down south at a park called Poltons. Built by Gerslar and Aaron Goddard suggested this video. So massive shout out to you. Uh, thanks for getting me to look for some snakes. And I did find one. I found a cobra. And today we're going to talk about all about the ride, share with you my predictions because I've not yet done the ride so I can't give you a spoiler review or a spoiler free review because I haven't done it. So let's talk about Cobra and let's talk about this ride. So before we get started with all of that, if you'd love to subscribe to me, please, please subscribe to me. I really would appreciate that. It's really important that you guys subscribe to me because I've just found out that 40.5% of you are subscribed but 58.9% of you are are not subscribed what are you doing so please please give me subscribe it would mean a lot to me it would mean the absolute world to me it'd be fantastic to get this channel on the mainstream tv i mean imagine me doing this on a tv screen i mean that would be nice wouldn't it but guys in all seriousness we're almost at 2k subscribers so please let's get there let's get this channel to 2k let's keep going from there because i've had loads of nice comments over the last few weeks last few months saying 100k give this guy a play button so make those fancy come true because we've got so much coming up on the channel it's hard to not miss out on this content so let's give this channel a subscribe and let's get into this video from cobra so cobra opened up on an unused land of poltons park way back on the 18th of march 2006 now this is a gerslauer bobsled coaster and in fact the bobsled coaster model went into production in 1998 which is of course the year that gerslauer was formed now, the first coaster Gerslauer ever created was a bobsled coaster, and that was, of course, Giacente Sal at Trips Drill, and it was closely followed by a coaster called Oach Cattle, which is one of their family coasters. So, Giacente Sal, the first bobsled coaster and the first roller coaster that Gerslauer ever invented in their company's history. So, this is a historic ride type for Gerslauer, and to get the part to have one was a historic landmark in Poulton's Park history. Now, there are four other models apart from the 454 model, which is the only one of its type, which is Cobra. There is the 394 model, the 384 model, the 484 model, and, of course, a custom layout. And in total, around the world since 1998, there's been 14 Gerslauer bobsled roller coasters, including Cobra. Now, this ride has a length of 1,476.4 feet, a height of 54.2 feet, a speed of 31.1 miles per hour, and it also has capacity of 720 riders per hour and a dimension detail of 344.5 feet times 180.4 feet. And it was also installed by world-famous Ingbura Stengel GmbH. Now... One interesting thing about this was the fact that the part was told they may have to move the Cobra and the Edge, which is the Zampella Disco ride that opened up three years later in 2009, after an application to grant them retrospective planning permission was narrow to, narrowly turned down by the National Park Planning Committee to seven votes to five. The area where these rides were situated is designed country park and not amusement park in planning terms, whereas all other areas of the park are now recognised as an amusement park and therefore have permitted development rights. After a separate application for the Cobra was made, it was announced on 22nd of December 2009 that the ride was granted retrospective permission and could remain in its current location. And another planning application was lodged with the New Forest National Park Planning Authority to retain the Edge ride. The application received public support and Poltons was granted permission by the New Forest MPA to retain the Edge ride in its current location on the 16th of March 2010, which meant that no new rides opened in 2010, which led into, of course, the next big development for the park, which was Pepper Pig World in 2011. So Cobra being there along with the Edge was sort of a landmark 
for Poltons to keep expanding from 2011 onwards, and it grew into the modern day Poltons part we saw today. Now, there's been a lot of fans that have wanted this ride to be the next major ride to get some kind of re-theme into a brand new area, along with Edge and Magma, to make it more of a themed area within the theme parks. Like the other themed areas in the park, like Tornado Springs opening next year in 2021, Lost Kingdom, and Critter Creek, as well as Papa Pig World. However, I'm sure it won't be long before we see a re-theme of this adventurous roller coaster. So that, my friends, is the latest facts and stats from Cobra at Poulton's Park. Now, obviously I said this was a rare type of Cobra and that is because it is a Ghost Lab Bobside Coaster rather than a real life snake because I think that would be a little bit too dangerous for a family theme park. I like the look of this coaster and to be fair, I, 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 I like that I haven't done this one yet because it's definitely an adventurous coaster in my opinion. It's a great family coaster. There's been loads of great reviews that you can find online if you do want to see them. But I think one of the main sort of taking points from this experience is Cobra is a very, very thrilling family coaster. It's one of the thrilling end of the scale family coasters. And I think that Poulton's Park, like I said, chose it well to add this coaster because this was the first major development for the park. You know, there was other major developments before that, like the Stinger, the Runaway Train, which is of course their only defunct roller coaster at this stage. You know, the other ones have been rethemed. But the Runaway Train was one of the older coasters that have left the park now. And, you know, it, it's one of those major developments and other major developments before that that sort of led to more developments in the future, including the big ones you've seen in recent years at Poulton's Park, like Critter Creek, Lost Kingdom, Tornado Springs, which is opening next year. So, you know, this is definitely a milestone coaster for the park and a milestone attraction because the Stinger, the Flying Frog and Cobra were the three major roller coasters before the likes of, you know, Storm Chaser comes in, Flight of the Pterosaur, Velociraptor, all these other coasters come in. And I think that, you know, Cobra is such a historic ride for the theme park and I'm so glad they got to keep it in its current location along with Edge a year later. And I'm really glad they got to keep them in the current locations because, you know, now we could see a major retheme of that area in the next few years as the next major project for the park. So whether that means the drop tower from 2012 Magma becomes part of Lost Kingdom and you get the go-kart site, Cobra and Edge as part of this new area, or maybe Magma gets re re relocated to like one of the kids' playgrounds in Lost Kingdom and you use that site for Magma and then, you know, the old site gets incorporated into this, you know, new area for the for the Cobra and Edge site along with the go-kart site where they decide to keep that or replace that. I think that, you know, Cobra is going to be the focal point for the next major development. So I think it's good doing a fact file now about Cobra because we can sort of accept the coaster for what it was and hopefully get ready for an exciting new chapter in the coaster's history. There we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this fact file on Cobra at Poulton's Park. I'm absolutely knackered today. But... Don't worry, I've got plenty more videos coming over the next few weeks. I really can't wait to see what, what this channel can offer for you guys. We've uploaded the video recently from the pack openings. We've got, we had the Ride of the Season pack openings. More pack opening videos are coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for those. More TV and film crossover videos with theme parks. They're going to be coming as well. We've done Strictly, done I'm Celebrity. Hopefully, I want to try and work Dancing on Ice into a video somehow, some way. I did it with Strictly. I did it with I'm a Celebrity. I'm going to do it with film franchises, so I will find a way, even if it don't work on paper. But... Plenty of exciting content to come. Alton Towers does Love Island. Now, I may decide to postpone that until next year. I feel like there's a lot going on at the minute. I think I may postpone that to next year, depending on, you know, if you guys want it this year or not. I've been thinking about that one. So, thank you very much, guys, anyway, for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. I need to lie down. Mm -hmm.